What was it that got you into computers anyway? Well, honestly, if things had gone according to plan, I'd have probably followed in my father's footsteps and my grandfather's footsteps and been a lawyer. But my high school rented time on the Board of Cooperative Education Services, BOCES, um, the local vocational technical school, um, on their mini computer, which is a PDP-11 running Ristus E. And they set it up with an ASR33 teletypewriter and an acoustic coupling modem where you like dial in the number, it would go and you plug it into the headset and you could talk to this computer on the other side of the county. And I wandered into the computer lab, which was like a resource room that had been converted. And I was hooked. Here was this computer that I could could talk to, that I could instruct to do things. And I discovered as I was messing around with it that I was actually not too bad at this. And honestly, I was hooked because I could make all these things happen. And then I, I, I'd set up a database for our local model Congress and started doing real work and real things on this, not just a little toy applications they teach you in your beginning programming class. And it was cool and I could do these things and it was so much fun realizing I could make all these cool things happen. And that was it. As my mother said for many, many, many years afterwards, after your freshman year in high school, you knew what you were gonna do. And that was it. Nothing we could do to convince you otherwise. You were going to be a computer programmer, and that was just going to be what it is that you did with the rest of your life. And it kind of sort of ended up being that that was what I did. Mm -hmm.